Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, is the most developed city in East, Central and Sub-Saharan Africa and one of the biggest in Africa. It's known for its rich history, diverse culture and stunning natural beauty. Located in the heart of the country, Nairobi serves as the economic, political and cultural center of Kenya. Nairobi is also a major hub for business and commerce in East Africa. The city is home to a thriving economy with a booming financial sector, bustling markets and a growing technology industry. Join me as I take you around this beautiful bustling city that never sleeps. Welcome to Nairobi. That's a female town. Known as the green city under the sun, Nairobi boasts numerous features that got the world marveling and also captivate visitors. The city's abundant green spaces, including parks, gardens and forests, are the primary reason for its renowned title, the green city under the sun. Nairobi is unique in that it is the only city globally with a national park, Nairobi National Park allowing tourists to enjoy a safari experience without traveling long distances. Colorful buses that you see in the background are called matatus. Every neighborhood has specific matatus that differ from each other. They share common features like a graffiti on the outside with different messages and the interior resembles a club complete with loudspeakers and TV screens to entertain customers during the ride. The louder the music, the more customers you attract, especially those of youthful age. Older folks might prefer riding in Kalma Matatus that don't have all the loud entertainment. However, such Matatus are hard to find, leaving you with no choice but to experience these moving clubs. It is a common phrase among tourists that you haven't been to Nairobi until you ride in a Matatu. They are recognized as part of Kenyan culture. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to officially welcome you to Nairobi CBD, or some like to call it downtown. Nairobi Central Business District covers an impressive area of about 4 square kilometers, an equivalence of 1.5 square miles, making it one of the largest in Africa. As you explore Nairobi downtown, you'll encounter some iconic landmarks. This Kenyatta International Conference, a building whose design was inspired by uh, well, let's just say it was inspired by nature's creativity. You might also pass by City Hall, the bustling headquarters of Nairobi County. Don't miss the National Archives, where Kenya's historical documents and artifacts are carefully preserved. And if you are in the mood of shopping, the Maasai Market is the place to be, offering traditional Maasai handicrafts and souvenirs. Need a break from the urban bus? Head over to Huru Park a spawling recreation park right in the heart of the city and when hunger strikes Nairobi CBD has you covered with its array of restaurants, cafes and food stores offering a diverse range of cuisines with its mix of government offices, banks, corporate headquarters, shops, malls and street vendors. Nairobi CBD is a vibrant hub of activity. So enjoy your time exploring this dynamic part of the city and soak in the unique sights and sounds of Nairobi downtown. I am in Westlands area, Nairobi city. I want to show you a little bit of Westlands. 
So without wasting much time, let's roll. So this is around uh, Jomo Kenyatta University, Westlands campus. Some elite neighborhoods here. Some elite neighborhoods. This part of Westlands is more of a residential area where the elite of Nairobi like to hide away. If you can afford to live here, your bank account must have six figures at the very least. There are other elite neighborhoods too like Runda, Kileleshwa, Mudaiga, Parklands, Karen. And did I mention Runda? Oh, Beverly Hills is not a match. If we are lucky, we might just get a chance to visit some of these exclusive spots. Westland Business District is like the giant penguin in Nairobi Urban Zoo, big, bustling and always ready to impress. It's one of Nairobi's six major commercial centers, and if you want to gauge the city's size, just take a stroll through Westlands. This section of Nairobi is like magnet for office buildings and some of the country's biggest malls. You've got uh, Westland Square Mall, the Mall Westland, Sarit Center, GTC Boutique Mall and the famous Westgate Mall, all standing tall and proud. But hey, it's not all work and no play in Westlands. If you are into entertainment, this place is a gold mine. There are more bars, clubs and entertainment spots here than you can shake a marimba at. And they cater to a crowd as diverse as Nairobi itself. And let's not forget the expert scene. With its central location and all the amenities you could dream of, Westland is like a second home for many international folks. Embassies, businesses, you name it, they've got a spot in Westlands. Because but wait, Westland, right? there's more to Westlands. is isn't just about work and play. It's also a place to call home with apartments, townhouses and gated communities nestled among the office building and malls. Getting around in Westland is a breeze. Thanks to its well-connected network of roads and public transport options, including matatus, those are colorful minibuses that I told you earlier, and taxis. And who would have thought, amidst all the bustle and hustle, Westlands has some green spaces too. Karura Forest is like a breath of fresh air, offering a peaceful retreat for residents and visitors alike. So whether you are here for work, play, or just to soak in the vibe, Westland Business District is a slice of Nairobi life you won't want to miss. Business District in Nairobi. Look at the roads well maintained.
got a ticket or something. It might surprise some folks that Kenya boasts such gorgeous neighborhoods. Just take a gander at this. Isn't it stunning? Isn't it amazing? Spectacular doesn't even cut it. It's downright beautiful. And thanks to social media, we can flaunt our country's beauty to the world. That's the beautiful view of GTC. Now we'll be looking for a good at person, yeah? Yeah. Because you've got a small problem. Uh -huh. We have a little girl two years old, the mother died, huh? Mm. Last month. The girl has asthma. So you know how she sleep on the streets, by the yeah. way. Mm. So by okay. okay. What's your name? Harry, yeah? Yep. My name is Edward. Mm. And I'm half Sudanese, half Kenyan. Yeah. I'm here on uh, Parklands Road. Mm -hmm. I keep security on the road so yeah. that guys don't uh, do crime. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I help sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes maybe I fail. You know, you can't save the whole world. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, everything is so cool. Before this, mm. like eight months ago, there was a lot of crime. Mm. Right now, crime has reduced like to zero. Yeah. We're in conjunction with the police station, mm -hmm. with the OCS and everybody. So that everybody goes home in peace. Yeah. And with, uh, not in pieces, in peace. <laughs> in peace. With nothing getting lost and everything. I'm uh. with my good friend Harry. Uh. He's from the States and he's a cool guy. Yeah. I've noticed he loves the animals, you know, yep. the giraffe, elephants, and whatnot. Yeah, Nairobi is a, beautiful. Nairobi is a beautiful place. Yeah. Right now, um, uh, it's getting packed and guys are getting back to work and uh. Uh, kids are going back to school. And so, you know, it's a busy, busy traffic, traffic. Yeah. But one thing I can promise you guys for sure, uh. everything is safe. Nobody can snatch anybody's phone on this Westlands Road. Mm. Parklands Road, actually. Because of you? Because of me, yeah. yeah. Actually, you keep security. Yeah, good security, very tight. Yeah. And Harry is a cool guy and um, he's about to help us with uh, Niaje. Harry is about to... Mambo, hi, girl. Hi, ladies. Yes. Okay. So we got hot, hot ladies too on the screen. Mm. Uh, you don't want to bug them a lot because maybe, you know, they have not paid their school fees for the kids <laughs> and one that stress of life, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Harry is about to save us with a small girl that we have, mm. and uh, I inhale is finished. So uh, we've been rounding out good-hearted people while we're doing our work, yeah. at least to help out with uh, getting inhale and mask for a small kid. Mm. May she not pass away, and we want to give her to children's home. Okay. Yes, I'm a street person. What is the name of the girl? Who the girl? Mm -hmm. Koi. 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 Yeah. Where does she live? She lives just behind with us on the where we stay. We call uh. it Chom. So what is your request? Maybe people are, are watching and are willing to help. Um, well, you can just come and we'll give you the details yeah. on how to go about it. Because last time there was a few kids, uh, we gave some people the details and the kids disappear. Yeah. So it brought a lot of problems for us, you yeah. know. Yeah. But this, this time is just a small problem, it's an inhaler. Mm -hmm. And there's a children home which is ready to take the kid. Okay. In. So yeah, that's how it is, Harry. All right. I'll yeah. give you my details in case someone reaches out. I Man, can... by the way, yeah. Okay. Me, I'm always here. You can always find me in the junction mm. and keeping an eye on the area so that everybody's safe, go home in one piece. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, go relax with their families. I've had the working day. Yeah. You never know how the angles are and everything, you know. But I can tell you guys one thing for sure. Harry is a cool guy. He's the coolest guy I've met. Mm. Because most of the guys want to see the street person. They can't even give an iPhone next to you. But <laughs> yeah. Harry has no problem because, yeah. you know, I don't know. Maybe our blood just blended. <laughs> yeah, yeah man. So we're cool. Yeah. Yeah, Harry. Yeah. Thanks, man, for you the video. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks for the video, Harry. Thank you for uh, being majoring with us, you know, to spread the good news. And mm. may God bless everybody. And uh, most of people, maybe they don't believe in God, but trust me, there's a God. Yeah. If we can survive and get rain on, we rain when there's water, mm. you sleep on water and you still survive, wake up. What more can you say, man? It's this God. Yeah. Yeah, man. And we love all of you. We love Kenyans. We love Nigerians, the states, everybody in the world. Mm. And please, the war in Israel and Palestine, let it stop. Mm. In Sudan, let it stop. I'm half Sudanese, half Kenyan. Yeah. I really fear war. Mm -hmm. I lost a lot of things in the war. War is nothing but destruction. They should look for a solution, peaceful solution, without any gun firing, you know? Yeah. I think that's better. The UN should know that too. Okay. Yeah. All right, that is it. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. Whenever anything gets lost, I return it, yeah? So you're yeah, a popular guy in the city, right? Very. Right here. In the Westland, especially. Mm -hmm. Very popular. Okay. One of the best hospitals for cancer and the coronavirus. Remember when it was mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Yeah, man. You get, in, you get immunized here and the petrol station is called Total mm. Energies and uh, yeah, they've just renovated it 
Hmm. Edward claims to know every rat root in Westlands. Let's see what we can learn under his guidance. Westlands is a mixed use neighborhood in Upper Parklands, Nairobi. It's located 3 kilometers or 2 miles from Nairobi's central business district. It sits on the western side of the larger parkland area. It's an area with high rise modern buildings in Nairobi. Another rival area of Nairobi that is keeping Westlands on its toes is Upper Hill. We will explore Upper Hill later in another video. So, this is the Bisha Hospital. Yeah, yeah. A legacy of care. Okay. This is the Bisha Hospital. It's big. Mm -hmm. Opposite is police station. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the, uh, where they found Gresham Business Center. Okay. It's the Westland Center. And this goes, this goes to Parklands. This goes to Parklands. Why? Why? Oh. Okay. They got everything, uh, financial security, energy solutions, they got advocates. Uh, these are all the uh, houses for uh, police for stations. Oh, police stations. Yeah, the police one is just this is the, this is the guy right for the German machines. Okay. Yeah, mainly German machines. This one, VW, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, Balls, uh, VW balls, then a Turek, Jaguars, you can see they're all there. Yeah, Audi. I can see them. Yeah. All these things. Station. Petrol station is like maybe the competitors, main competitors for the for the total. You okay? Oh, Sana. The man's yeah. a YouTuber. Hiya, no ah, brother. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. My boy is my friend. Yeah. Sima Boda. Yeah. This, uh, this is where the Sima Boda is, where they come and judge their, their motorbikes, the electric ones. Yeah. Yeah, this is the K1 clubhouse. Disco. K1. Night, yeah, K1 clubhouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, at night it really kicks. It kicks, it kicks big. Okay. Yes. And uh, this is the church. Oh, it's yeah, it's called, uh, a symbol, symbol of God. God. Yeah. Okay, I see it. Yeah, I agree. He's a street servant. Let's give him that. He could turn this into a money maker, you know. But I don't know how many people will be willing to come here and shoot videos. Plus, most people are driving, so it's highly unlikely they'll be on foot. Westlands is indeed massive, like a city within a city. I always pass by the main road, Nairobi Nakur Road. But I haven't had a chance to delve into the interior streets. Let's keep rolling. I see shows us more yeah, places. We go, we met. Okay. Down there, this way. All right. Yeah. On hotel. Golden Tulip. Yeah, Golden Tulip. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's a big one. Very yeah. big. It's international. But I think the best which is coming is the JW Marriott. JW Marriott. I yeah. thought it's, it was already here. Ah, uh, it's there. Yeah, it's there, but it's not yet functional. Okay. The way it's supposed to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You see the dogs are gonna take money. Hmm. Oh, there's um, a bank here. No, no, no. Huh? They want to take money from uh, some guys who uh, do their petrol business. Oh, okay. I don't say it so much. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they, they gotta get a, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, we call it Toro. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. So, anyways, we're not gonna film them. Yeah. It's kind of sensitive, you know? Yeah. But no, you don't wanna mess with the cops. Police. Especially, yeah, without we sleep in the street. Oh, this one there's one in Parklands, right? Yeah, there's a big one now, that's the biggest. Okay. Yeah, this is the medical center. So you've got to ask, I think, uh, for the students. Mm. Yeah. For the students who come and do their attachments and whatnot. 
Oh, they come to do their practical here. Yeah, I okay. think my friend, uh, it's called Ultimate Platinum. Yeah, this place is beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's called Ultimate Platinum. Yeah. It's for Ayub. Ayub is my boy. Mm -hmm. So, Malekum Ayub, one day if you get to Suris, maybe. Mm. He's got cool cars, man, a good price, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just see his hands are tight. Otherwise, I would have loved to work for him. But it's okay. I'm sure we'll talk some other time. Yeah. <laughs> With him. Ayub. Yeah. Ayub, his name is Ayub, eh? Yeah. He's a cool guy. He's always on shades, you know? Uh, this is the showroom. That's where his cars are. Now, this, now this is the road. From me until it's the called? end. Muditi road. Muditi road. Yeah. Okay. From me until the end. iconic building in Nairobi right now. Yeah, this is the one. But there's another one coming. This is really That building stalled, I don't know why. Really? Yeah. The one in Apai? Yep. Maybe it's because it's on the hill. I don't know how. No, really. The building we are discussing is called the Pinnacle Tower, meant to be Africa's tallest, surpassing the current title holder, the Leonardo in Johannes, South Africa. Unfortunately, it is tall for unknown reasons. It could have been a game changer for Nairobi. Look at Dubai, famous because of Burj Khalifa. Maybe the constructors will revisit and see the building rise again. Let's hope so. Right now, it will be towering over Nairobi skyline along with GTC. Britam Tower and three more stall towers like Montev Tower, Saiton Towers and Uga Tuzi Tower famously known as G47. I hope the government will revisit and give the go ahead for the construction of these buildings. 1.3 million views. Yeah, really? Mm. Like, yeah. And uh, I didn't even get anything from it. Because uh -huh. guys have uh, taken my friend named Bob. Mm -hmm. He took me, put him on the Facebook. He yeah. put me on the Facebook, Facebook account. Yeah. So he gets all the benefits. Oh, the yes. money, everything. I didn't get nothing from it. But me, I'm not about money. You know, me, I just do what I love doing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Money will come following. That's true. Success, you know. For good people. This is their father. This building is so tall, man. <laughs> I think that's selling. Yeah. That's so expensive, by the way, you know. Tony Erickson. Spain. I want to get to the other side, Dad. I don't know if you can follow here. Yeah, I think we better go from there.
so the is parkland is not as beautiful. It's not as beautiful. It's not as beautiful as here. Mm -hmm. This is the famous cake city. If you want to order cake, cake city. Yeah, this is a cake city. Mm -hmm. If you want to order cake, come and order it from here. Okay. Yes. Let's use the back here. So you know every corner of Westlands. Every corner. <laughs> every hole. <laughs> and everyone. Mm. <laughs> yeah, almost everyone. For how long have you been in Westlands? Uh now for like six years. Six years. Yeah. Oh, imagine. Yeah. So it's like at home, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just one of the most beautiful places. It's in Nairobi. Stay in peace with people. And uh, you don't involve yourself in crime. Uh. You, you might even get a job, man. A good job. Whatever that you're good at doing, if you love doing it and you love it, you will excel. What Where about Upper Hill? Where? Upper Hill. Uh. I've not been to Upper Hill. I've been there. The last time I've been there was when my ex... Is uh, it coming? It's, it's coming up. Upper Hill is coming up big time. Yeah. Upper Hill is really coming up big time. That's, now that's where us in Westlands, we are, that's what we are scared of. Uh, <laughs> Upper Hill is coming it's to kick our up. ass. Yeah. yeah. Upper Hill, next to the, uh, what do you call it, the hospital, uh, Kenyatta Hospital. Kenyatta Hospital. Man, it's coming up like crazy. Uh -huh. It's coming up like crazy. Mm, yeah. That's what I'm telling you. That's wow. the one you're saying. Yep. Yeah, the Oracle. It's called the Oracle. Oracle. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And yeah, it's one of the best of the best. Anyways, it's called the Oracle. So we'll it's Westlands. This is Westlands. Is there a bridge to cross to the other side? There's no, there's just down. Down road walk. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. So we gotta go down there mm. and just walk through. Next to uh, Naivas, uh -huh. Westlands. We walk through, uh, yeah, we cross the road and We'll see what we've been uh, seeing in the movies, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You can see how the Range Rovers and everything. You know, I'm a car guy, yeah? Huh. So, it really, it, it drives my, the wi my wildest dreams and intuition. It makes me go crazy. Whenever I see how they park the cars and everything, and they got restaurants inside, mm -hmm. and yeah, they got everything, man. Simba Gold, and... All, I think it's the governor, most the governor office, the uh, council of governors. Mm. I think they got an office here. So yeah, uh, you are a car enthusiast. I'm a car enthusiast and it's my blood. Beatles! Yes. And I speak a lot of languages, even Arabic. You speak Arabic? Yeah, even Rondis a little bit. That's why I said Beatles, that oh, guy. That, what does that mean? It means, how are you? How are you? Then you say, I'm a Kuru. I'm a Kuru. Yeah. That's Rondis. That's Rondis, man. Okay. In Arabic, you say, Kev Kois. Kev Kois? Yeah. I have no idea what that is. Kev is how are you? How are you? Oh, is Kev Halak, Kev Halak, yeah. <laughs> Kev Halak. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of 500 shillings. 500 shillings. Okay. As you see this area, one thing I love about it, eh? Yeah. Westlands, eh? Uh -huh. These guys, they don't tolerate crimes. Mm -hmm. Like guys who smash phones and everything. When you come to Westlands, you gotta watch out. You yeah, no. right here, like the normal guys. Mm. They sell vehicles here? Yeah, they are, they are, they are down. Oh, I see them now. Yeah. Oh, BMWs? Yeah. Okay. BMW in Nairobi, they sell Imagine, under this one Africa place. Oh, the whole of this building is packed with vehicles? The whole of this building down is vehicles. Yeah. As is the office of the BMW. Okay. Yeah. The I get it. The government office mixed in different floors. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if you want to walk. Yeah. So we are no longer in Westlands. 
West London, that side. We are going okay. towards Kilelesha. Oh, this way is Kilelesha. Kilelesha, yeah. Okay. From high end drilling place and whatnot. So this is only this is a hustler, actually. Mm -hmm. The hustler. And yeah. This is how it looks. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. That's the Ibis Hotel Styles. It's called? There's a Pride in Africa. Oh, Ibis. Ibis. Okay. And there's a Microsoft Parking. Running from Blue is next. It's all hotels. It's hotels, man. Mm. Yeah. Now this is the other side. This is the Oracle. This is where the governor is. The governor. Yeah, okay. This is a Baptist church. Baptist church. It's a hell of a big church, yeah. Very big church. So Kilelesh is also another lit neighborhood? It's very lit and big. Uh -huh. Like high-end, nice, you know, buildings. But you gotta go in and dig. Yeah, Lavington. Lavington, yeah. Yeah, center, the way you said it before. Yeah. yeah. You've been to Runda before? Runda? Yeah. Yeah. I've been to Runda. I used to have my schoolmate who lived there in Runda. But that was a couple of years ago, yeah? Not now, huh? Yeah. A couple of years ago. So lately I've not been, but I hear it's quite changed, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Runda is all changed. Very beautiful, I hear. New houses, new apartments, mm -hmm. new malls. There's that Riviera, Roslyn, Riviera Mall. Karen. Karen. There's that uh, waterfront in Karen. Mm -hmm. And whatnot, you know. So everything is changed. Then Nairobi is changing so fast. Yeah, I see. So fast, very fast. Too fast, actually. <laughs> That we are going towards uh, we are going towards the Leshua and uh, Aboret, okay. and that's next to the state house. He was a nice guy. He said his name is Edward Lotto. Took me around and I appreciate. So let's roll this way and see if I can get my way to town. You can see Nairobi is a very big city, and this way we are heading to Kile Leshua. What is this? What is this? Centenary house. Centenary. That's the traffic jam here. That's where we came from and it's as beautiful as you can see it. Do you appreciate the view of Nairobi city? Towards the other end is where the state house is. State house where the president stays. In America we call it White House. In Kenya, state house. Beautiful. Wow. It's so beautiful. Just hope I don't get in trouble with the government. And more and more buildings coming up. We have vault here. I wanted to get to Nairobi University. Let's see if you can get there. A nice paved roads as well. Look at this, so beautiful. 
beautiful city of Nairobi. Prime Bank. There's more inside this area, but we shall revisit another time. We don't have time. That's traffic police controlling traffic here. Let me, let me follow this side and see where we'll head to. There's more on that side. A lot, not even just more. Let's see if we can get to town. I hope I'm giving you enough reasons to want to visit Nairobi. All I've shown you is not even a quarter of what Nairobi offers. There's more to come. Start booking your flights to this gigantic Kenyan capital in East Africa. I've talked to some American friends and they have never been outside the United States. Here their passport is one of the strongest in the world. Utilize it. If you don't travel, you won't open up to realities outside your country of residence. Traveling gives you an opportunity to appreciate different things in the world. You just swap restrictions will be lifted so that people can move freely and travel to anywhere in the world. Or maybe the new world to come. There's uh, disabled children there. And it's sad that some people use them for business. When you decide to help them, that's just know that the money is not going to them. There's someone benefiting. Beautiful and iconic city of Nairobi. Oh, these Westlands. There's more to this city that we haven't seen. There are very many little neighborhoods here, but we are yet to go there. So, what I may say is that uh, we shall revisit. Is this in Kenya? Is this Kenya? This is so lit and beautiful. Tell me if I'm still in Kenya. Fall in love again. With yourself. I was right, this is Nairobi University premises. Nairobi University. Yeah. So I think that's good to do too if I'm not wrong. I think I was wrong. If that's not Nairobi, but it must be do it D2 hotel. And here we have our iconic and lovely GTC building. The forest here. This is the iconic GTC building once more. It seems that we haven't had enough of GTC. Lovely. What should we call this? Nairobi Forest or what? And that's the beautiful expressway. I got the view I was looking for. For sure, this building is very tall.
the overhead road you see is the Nairobi Expressway, which has significantly contributed to Nairobi's growth in many aspects. It has also added to the overall beauty of the city. When I landed in Kenya, I took a taxi on this road, and the views I got were spectacular. You might want to go check out the video titled, Wow, Nairobi is beautiful, capturing my first impression after and being this is Nairobi River. Years. Unfortunately, it's not the cleanest river in the world. So I need to get to the other side. The other side of the road. Many of you claim that I did justice to Nairobi. However, busy. it didn't perform as well as I expected. I hope many people will discover the video. The expressway is a toll road. And you may have to pay 500 shillings or equivalents of $5 to That's visit. That's Yam Hill Expressway entrance. The rush hour it's a bit tricky to cross here but let me try it will be very tricky that's the lovely view on the other side this is the expressway exit i want to cross the other side this is the museum hill expressway exit so the car is still very far, let me cross. It's as beautiful as you can see it. Now it might be a little bit easier for me to cross. Cross this side, now it's this side. Let's wait and see. It's clear for me. Uh, cross successfully. I'm on the other side. Set and sound. I can't get enough of this lovely view. So beautiful. Boulevard. The Tomie Boulevard is a road that uh, passes in the middle of the trees, so or does it have trees at the center? Another beautiful estate here, I don't know what's the name. Beautiful. And this is uh, Kenya Bo Broadcasting Corporation. Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC. Where you get news from the TV, radio. Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Nice neighborhood here. Beautiful and beautiful neighborhoods here in Nairobi. Kijabe Street. This is Nairobi University Plaza. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? But we are not going that way. Let's walk fast in case this bus is coming this way. We give it way. This is all lovely. Beautiful neighborhoods here. Nairobi City. Long not apartments. But long not place. This is where Mkurugenzi normally broadcasts his programs. Mkurugenzi maybe is around. Abel Mtua. It's lit. It's very beautiful.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's the University of Nairobi campus. Main campus. If you want to come and study in the University of Nairobi, that's the University of Nairobi. That's the central police station. If you commit atrocities, you have to come and explain to them here why you committed them. I've seen some people being incarcerated here and being released on YouTube, many YouTube videos. And this is the lovely city of Nairobi. Let's go this way. Give you a glimpse of the city from this bridge. I think it was constructed because of uh, students. This central police station. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? Look at this. That's the beautiful city center. Been here, so I think I need to take another route and go down there. lovely iconic and bustling city of Nairobi
I came here for this iconic street. It's a very beautiful and pretty street. Let's try and see this street the way it looks like. And then we shall head back to the city center. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? It looks like some streets abroad. Diamond. Wow. The city of Nairobi. The city of Nairobi. Never ceases to amaze me. Nairobi, you're beautiful. Never ceases to amaze me. Wow. I saw a replica of this in Baltimore. Most people don't come here. So let me take you to every rat route of Nairobi. to be turning back just wanted you to see this street I'll be turning back let's head to the city center I want to show you the parliament and some iconic buildings that we missed and even the president's office if we still got time i think tomorrow if we have time we'll go to upper hill and uh yaya center can demand too if it is big i cannot do every area wow the buses are being driven as crazy as crazy as you can see chaotic streets of Nairobi Siyad Komas free shout out Diamond Just to take this isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? Police are caught up in the jam, or is this an ambulance? They never excuse the ambulance, man. No? They should be excusing the ambulance. battery is almost out it's getting dirty and uh, i hope you can appreciate the views right now it's so beautiful this is one of the parks here i believe it's called jibanji jibanji jumia so I think this is a junior office. I'm not wrong.
than that at all. There's one iconic building here also. I think uh, she didn't miss to see. Wow, this is so lovely. This is so lovely and beautiful. Do you appreciate what you see? This one. The way it's uh, painted. I don't know what way should I follow. Look at that place. What is the name of this building? Nairobi City County City Market. Oh, it's a city market. Wow. Beautiful. This is the famous Mwindimbingu Street. I don't know what is it famous for, but it's a famous street. Mwindimbingu. We're still in the lovely biggest city in Eastern Central Africa, most developed. And I will see why people want to come to Kenya from neighboring countries. Hey, look at that. why this is people's favorite people still taking content i and m bank we were here the other time we can all agree that nairobi city is big we can all agree that the city of nairobi is big and unique Big and unique. You are here at the time. So let's go see the parliament, president's office, and some buildings we left out. Then we shall wrap up. These are electronic buses. Nice. And this traffic here. the oldest buildings here and it's a bank right now the dead medieval era this building here is called a nyayo house it's one of the most protected buildings here i don't want to get some problems with the police is uh, the migration office and this is a poster building kencom is it kencom no not kencom i've forgotten the name or is it called poster this is Nyayo house. It's a rush hour, people are going home. This is where I came to pick my passport. Nyayo house, migration office. And we are back on the expressway. The streets are busy. So the other end we have Serena Hotel. And there's a big uh, park here called Uguru Park. Maybe we shall visit it tomorrow and also get to see the other side of Nairobi. It is a gigantic other part of Nairobi on the other side, as you can see. We shall visit tomorrow. Apart from that, should I turn back? Mm, I need to turn back and go and show you the parliament. And this is the lovely expressway.
Oh, I think this is Telcom House. I remember now, Telcom. Not Kencom, Telcom. And in the horizon, that's Upper Hill. The one that is driving Westlands. I think there's a way here. Let's see. That's Parliament building or Parliament Plaza. I don't know. Forgotten. Remind me in the comment section. I was right. Telcom House. I think this Telcom offices. It's very tall and it's drizzling. My battery is almost dying, so I had to kill the battery. So let's proceed. That's Times Tower. I don't know what's the name of the other building in front of Times Tower. And this is KICC Kenyatta International Conference Center. And Bogan Villa flowers represented here, making the city look beautiful. It's getting dark, I need to be wrapping up. Otherwise, when it gets dark, the city starts getting dangerous. Should be going home, right? And that's the Kenyan parliament. I don't know if cameras are allowed, but let's take a risk. Let's take a risk. Kenyan parliament. This way, the governor's office I showed you the other time. And I don't have much there. Let's roll this side. Kenyan parliament, you can see the flags hoisted. There used to be a beautiful fountain here. I don't know what went wrong. Everything is drying up. The economy is bad until the fountains have ceased to function. What is not happening to my country? Parliament building. This is the National Assembly, I guess. The Senate is on the other side. This is the president's office, somewhere here, the deputy president's office. I don't want to go there with my camera and get incarcerated and put on a community service or be told to be sweeping the president's gate every morning. I should be reporting 5 a.m. I don't want to get into trouble. And that's the lovely, beautiful view back view of the city of Nairobi National Assembly this is the Senate there were areas in Westlands that we hadn't yet explored, particularly some of the key streets. Since these are significant areas in Westlands, I felt it was important not to leave them unexplored. This time I decided to take a taxi to ensure we cover these spots. Our plan is to visit some of the major malls in Westlands, so buckle up and get ready to discover the hidden gems of the Westlands district with us. Yeah. 
this restaurant, Sariti Center. Yeah, Sariti Center. Okay, on your left. Uh -huh. huh? Huh? Westgate. Oh, Westgate. Most of you must have heard of Westgate Mall. There was a terrorist attack that occurred on September 21st, the year 2013. In this mall, the attack was carried out by Al Shabaab, a militant Islamic group based in Somalia. The attackers stormed the upscale Westgate shopping mall, firing indiscriminately at shoppers and taking hostages. The siege lasted for four days, during which the Kenyan security forces engaged the attackers in a standoff. The attack resulted in the deaths of at least 67 people, including civilians, security forces, and the attackers themselves. Hundreds more were injured in the attack, which was one of the deadliest terrorist incidents in Kenyan history. One of our favorite TV and radio presenter, Rohila Adashe, lost her life in this attack. The attack drew international condemnation and highlighted the threat of terrorism Welcome in the region. Basement Park. Westgate is in Westlands or Parklands? Sarit Center is one of the prominent shopping malls located in Westlands, Nairobi, Kenya. It was opened in 1983 and has since been a popular shopping destination for both locals and tourists. The mall offers a wide range of stores including clothing, electronics, home goods and more. Sarit Center is known for its spacious layout and variety of dining options, making it a popular spot for shopping, dining and entertainment. Over the years, it has become a landmark in Westlands and a hub for social and cultural activities. Let's not talk much about them, they haven't sponsored my video. So let's center this a free shout out. That hotel normally revolves, right? That hotel, it rotates. 
this hotel here. This one, they normally rotate. Lands Nairobi. Mm. That uh, here insurance is the third largest general insurer in Kenya. Someone tell Chat GPT that G insurance is the third largest insurer in Kenya. Almost wrapping up the video, and let me tell you, this is just a snippet of what Nairobi has to offer. Don't wander off just yet. There's still so much more to see in Nairobi. Nairobi is like that kid who keeps growing every day and is on the path to becoming one of the coolest cities in the world. It could easily snatch the title of the most developed city in Africa, or at least make it top five. When you look at East, Central, and Sub-Saharan Africa, Nairobi stands tall above all other cities, is the reigning champ of skyscrapers in Africa, and there are even more on the way. Some might be taking a nap in development, but let's hope they will wake up soon. The city's development is all about that infrastructure game. You amp up your infrastructure and suddenly you get nods of respect from other countries. You'll start hearing about visa waivers because they've got their eyes on your progress. So hang tight, stay there, remember to hit the subscribe button. Adios Kwaheri, na wapenda sana. Love you all.
the nights are working here in Nairobi.